First of all, I would also discuss unloading. Uh, there are 11 boxes um, that contain the system which we've just presented to you. And in particular, it's worth noting that the metal 3D printer itself, the box weighs uh, two and a half tons. And as you can see here, this is the facility where we've just been presenting to you the equipment. In order to bring it inside, we had to use a system of cranes in order to bring uh, the boxes down through the stairs and bring it inside into the facility. So for you to understand how the unloading process works and to plan ahead for this, uh, so in this particular case what we had to do is we had to install the crane on this platform, uh, lift the box down and place it on the platform below us right uh, beside the stairs. But then this is not the end of it because the height of the facility is 3.3 meters we couldn't use a motorized forklift in order to unbox the machine and lift it up off the pallet. So in this particular case, what we had to do, we had to place the box on this platform, then unbox the machine and use the crane itself in order to lift the machine up, remove all the pallets, then place it uh, on a standard forklift from the two sides, uh, each forklift, needs to have an arm length of 1.5 meters and this way uh, we were able to move the machine inside uh, and obviously since there is a wall we had to remove the wall entirely and this is how we were able to move all the, all the boxes inside and then we reconstructed the wall in order to place the machine inside so please uh, take this into account when planning what particular facility you're planning to use uh, we will share the instructions on the different methods of unloading and loading the equipment inside. And uh, the difficult part about unloading not with a motorized forklift but with a crane is that this panel is relatively thin and because the crane is lifting the machine with substantial force, uh, the risk is that we may damage those panels when lifting the machine with the crane. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that the distance between the top of the machine and the connector uh, where all the ropes are located is at least 1.5 meters. because this way we can release the load of the metal sheets uh, that are on this panel. It's very undesirable to, to damage them because this is where the gas system is located and if you damage it, for example, the nitrogen that is being poured inside uh, may not be distributed evenly or there may be a gas leakage. Uh, so the distance must be at least 1.5 meters and also use protective foam uh, on this panel in order not to damage it. We'll share the concrete instruction on how it works. Please take this into account.